Hey, I'm Bill, and I'm on the water. Today we're going to go see uh, Brad Heil from Chesapeake Yacht Center, and he's going to show us a 53 Sueños. It's a center console. This thing is absolutely huge. It's a HCB. Can't wait to see it. Um, I'm all about it. So let me get Bear going. You want to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? All right, let's go for a walk. Hey, I'm Bill, and I'm on the water. We're here again for the Brad and Bill Show. Brad and Bill Show, there you <laughs> we're, go. We're back from Chesapeake Yacht Centers, and we're here to check out a new boat. What do we got here today? We Brad? have the HCB 53 Sueños today. This. So we're going to check this thing out, and then we also have the 39 Special. This thing is huge. Oh, it's this pretty is sweet. A, this is the master of center consoles. It is, yes. All right. We have the uh, 53 HCB center console Sueños here. Uh, it's rigged currently with four 350 Yamahas on the back of it. Four 350 Yamahas, I can cruise around 60 miles per hour. You can also get the seven engines on it. Uh, and you're going to cruise a little bit faster. But the 53 Sueños has 1,000 gallons of fuel. Uh, it's got a 39 degree dead rise in the bow and a 24 degree dead rise aft. This thing will slice through water and you can take, you know, 60 miles an hour, five foot seas, you're fine. Uh, you have an open array of Garmin units up here that control every single thing on the boat. You have two live wells. The entire boat has frigid, rigid cooler tops on everything. So you can use this boat as a cooler. You know, it's this is the perfect fishing boat. This is the perfect tender for a mega yacht. You can rig the boat many ways. You can rig it to be a fishing boat. You can rig it to be a tender. You can rig, rig it to be a you know a large picnic boat. Uh, you know, right now, currently, 49 of these, I believe, have been sold. Um, and they're everything from a mega yacht tender to a day boat for you know for someone. Uh, the other thing they do, as I said, they're great fishing boats. You can run this thing offshore. You can hit any one of the islands from Florida on one fuel tank. You can fish this boat out there, and, and the you know from Marlin, Tuna, whatever you're fishing for. You can rig it with a tower. Um, you know whatever you choose. There's just multiple purpose use for this boat. So, starting at the back of the boat, you have four engines on the back there. As I said, right currently it's 350 uh, Yamahas. You can also rig it with the seven engines. You can put the 557s or the 627s on the back of this. Um, you have two live bait wells back there, aerated bait wells. They have uh, sight glasses in them so you can see, and they're also backlit so at night that you know you can watch your bait fish or you know use it for a beer cooler or drop the kids down there and have a little jacuzzi. Okay, so after the engines, you know the, the boat's rigged with Sea Keeper as well, and Sea Keeper is a gyro stabilizer. It, it, it'll spool up and it takes probably about 40 minutes to spool up. But what it does is keep the boat when you have a beam C. You can rock this boat without the stabilizer on, the gyro stabilizer on, and as soon as you turn that on, that boat will just sit here like this. So if you have a tendency to get seasick, it's going to take that motion out, you know, that most people get sick from, and allow you to spend the day on the boat comfortably. Uh, you move forward a little bit further, and you have a station back there with two, two sinks. You have a refrigerator back there. You have uh, a little spot back there to take the grill and put a grill in there. It's a propane grill. Um, so, you know, you have a full bait station, or you have a cooking station, or you have a sink, you have a little galley, whatever you want to call it. And there's drawer storage everywhere. You also have uh, the fish boxes in the floor. As I said, they have refrigerated cooler tops on them, um, and you can load that thing up with some fish. When you move up to the helm part, you have the three helm seats up front, but then you have a seat in the back, just like a station wagon or something like that. It's a bench seat back there that seats three also. This boat rides like you wouldn't believe. I mean, just it rides like you're on a cushion of air, I guess. Um, and you have this hard top over top of you, so you know if you get in foul weather, you're protected the entire time because you have a full windscreen up in front of the helm. The seats, if you're trolling. These seats will spin around, face backwards. You can face sideways. There's multiple directions for these tables, uh, or for the seats. I'm sorry. Your stereo is integrated in there. Your seat keeper is integrated in there. All your GPS stuff, your sonar, uh, whatever you need on this boat is integrated into it. But you also have push-button controls for everything. So when you're running down the ocean or running down the bay and the boat's bouncing, you have something you can really get. When you get to the controls, uh, currently we have Yamahas on here, so we have Yamaha controls with a joystick and a bow thruster on the boat. 
So just like any you know joystick boat, I can completely walk this boat sideways and dock it. Um, you typically are only using a joystick for docking mode. Otherwise, you switch over to your controls and you're just running with your controls. But you can literally put the boat in its space wherever you want to put it. Underneath of the center console where we're sitting, you have a cabin down there. It sleeps too. You have a full head, full shower. Uh, you have storage down there for you know clothing. You have storage down there for more you know uh, lures and things you know bait for fishing. Um, and you also have rod storage down there. If you go outside and ahead of that, you have a large sun pad sitting right in front of the, cool, uh, the helm that also opens up and it's a large cooler. And then you also have a high-low table up there integrated in the floor. You can run it all the way down to the floor for fishing, or you can set it up to put a cushion in there and have another large sun pad, or you can set it up and have it as a table. Um, it's just it's just very well designed, very well thought out. Uh, you know, the build process is top notch. I mean, you know, the the top side is integrated to the hull deck. You know, it's it's bonded one piece basically. Um, but then you have speakers everywhere on the boat. So you know, the cruisability of this thing, top my top speed on it with these 350s, you probably you know I would say 61 miles per hour somewhere in that neighborhood. Fred, this boat is freaking amazing. So I cool. I want one. I'm going to put it on my Christmas list for sure. You're going to put it on your Christmas list? Absolutely. I, I Santa, I've been a good then. boy. <laughs> I can't wait to take this boat by the Well, Mrs. Santa. Santa might be nice to you. I hope so. Hey. <laughs> Honey, I want this boat. Honey, he wants his boat. Hey. All right, Brad, thanks so much for showing us the boat. Yes, sir. Really awesome, boat. man. I can't wait to see what, it, uh, see what it does on the water. And that's Bill on the water, and I will see you there. There you go. I'm Bill, <laughs> and I'm on the water. Thanks, bro. Thanks, sir. Yep. Wow, what an incredible day seeing that HCB 53 Sueños. It was absolutely sick. That boat was absolutely incredible. Uh, you can go check it out at Chesapeake Yacht Center. Uh, if you're looking for the link, I have it below. Chesapeake Yacht Center, HCB Yachts. You can check it out below. Also, they're coming out with a brand new 65 Estrella. Can you imagine even bigger, 65 feet of center console. I can't wait to check that boat out. Again, you can find that in the HCB link below. Uh, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. I'm Bill, and I'm on the water.